I'm Karina Chin with KarinaStamps.com and I want to welcome you today to my very impromptu Facebook and YouTube Live. I just wanted to wish everybody a Happy New Year and I just wanted to share a really quick project in case you are going out to friends tonight and you need a really fast project. So hopefully you have most of this stuff in stock. And, uh, and then hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday because on Wednesday night, I'm holding a brand new catalog kickoff party. Uh, we have a new catalog that goes live on the 5th, January the 5th. I thought it was the 4th and I was wrong. So this catalog will retire on January 4th. And then the new catalog will start on January the 5th. So if you're looking for some great deals, there's still some really good deals in here. Items are discounted. Uh, the clearance rack is really great right now. So I just thought I would mention that you have a few more days to shop if you want. But I don't know about you, but I needed a little gift. So if I'm making one, I might as well share it with everybody. Right. So if you're here, leave me a comment. Say hi. Uh, hopefully you have some really fun plans tonight. I'm just going to be um, having a charcuterie board with my daughter. We went to a really fancy shop here in Edmonton and picked up a little charcuterie board for two. So I think that's going to be super fun. Nothing better for me than cheese crackers, snacks and maybe a little Prosecco. You just never know. We, we will see. Okay, so let me get started today. Oh, Kathy's here. Leona's here. Hello, girls. Have you got big plans for tonight or just relaxing and stamping? I have been doing a lot. I had company over Christmas, so I have been really uh, busy and then trying to prep for my card classes. That's what I've been up to. Okay, so let's go down. So what am I doing? A few announcements. Let me just go down for a minute. So if you are placing an emergency order, by January 4th, you can go to karinachen.stampinup.net. And if you use this hostess code, um, use it if you're ordering less than $200, then I will be sending you um, a free three project catalog kickoff kit. They're actually three cute cards. And then if you're spending over $100, um, you will also get a 44 page tutorial, which is fun. So I just thought I would mention that really quick. And also if you like and share my video, anyone who shares my video, I'm going to go back and take a look at this. And then I'm going to give away a prize on Tuesday, which is my normal Facebook live day. Okay. Let's just go down here to my project today. And I should mention too, that I do have a paper share on right now. Uh, the paper share is, can you tell I didn't prep very well for this class? It takes for this uh, YouTube video, it takes so long, so long to prep for these. Um, it is uh, $48 for the 12 by 12 paper share. Another $20 if you want all the six by six papers. And then if you want the ribbon share, it's 14. So to get all the shares, it'd be $82. And what I do is I cut them into a six by 12 inch strip because that way if you're a uh, scrapbooker, you can still use the paper, but it's a really nice sampling. And some of the papers are beautiful. And in the 12 by 12, I've got a few pieces of the specialty ones. That way you can play and see what you like before you actually uh, buy it. And then if you love it, you can buy more. The other class I have coming on is Country Floral Lane. So basically the bundle, I think is really well priced. It's $108.25. And then I give you the class for free. So let me just show you the cards I've come up with. So I've decided that I'm going to do two 3D projects and four cards for this class. You can just take the class for $55 and it will include two packs of paper, the ribbons, the pastel gems, plus all your projects. So that is pretty good. Oh, half a package of gingham, six by six designer series paper. So you're probably going, what does the suite look like, Karina? Well, I'm going to use it right away. This is a stamp set and the punch that you would have to buy on your own. Or if you pay $108.25, it's included in the suite. The whole suite includes this plus the beautiful pastel gems in three different colors and two different sizes. And then you also get two ribbons. You get a really nice, they call it burlap, super soft, easy to tie. And then you also get a nice red, real red. Oh no, it's yeah, real red color. And then you also get two packages 
of designer series paper. Now this one is 12 by 12. Look at these beautiful patterns. And then this one is six by six. I think this one you can use all year round. And even this one, because it's got some stripes, it's got some stripes, it's got some flowers. It's not just hearts. So I think it's very versatile and perfect for all your spring projects. And these are the colors, sweet sorbet, petal pink, mossy meadow, mint macaroon, and balmy blue. And then the gingham designer series paper is sweet sorbet, petal pink, mint macaroon, and balmy blue. So it's a really great suite, and I think it's priced really well. And two, it's $108.25, but I recommend you buy something else, bump it up to $120, and then you can get two celebration items. Because when you place a celebration item with me, I'm going to be running an adorable owls class in February that you'll get to come to for free. These are just two of the cards. I think everybody saw the spinning owl card. We have to make the spinning owl card. He's just too cute, right? And I've got a whole bunch of projects done with that. Or I'll just quickly show you this. Look at this. Look at the giant carrot and the bunny. Oh, happy day. So this carrot stamp set is also free with $60 order. The celebration catalog is awesome, but I can't show it to you until the 5th. Got to wait till the 5th so fun but at my catalog kickoff party though we're going to play some games um it's free with a 60 dollars order or you can pay 15 dollars to come if you just want to join in and see what's new and what fun things i have to share and then my country floral lane class this is some of the cards that we're making look at this fun fancy fold whoa isn't that fun so i cut everything for you you just need to glue and you'd have to have the stamp set and the punch so that you could do these elements yourself right super cute though so this is my easy peasy card i just love it i think it's nice and then this one it's just an easy fancy fold right but isn't that pretty and then this is a pretty easy fancy fold as well and then you're going to make a little decorated treat bag so we're going to use some blending brushes and then you're going to make this now you're probably thinking this isn't country floral lane no it's not country floral lane but i'm going to show you how to actually make the box today and then when you take the class you get the pieces to assemble it so you don't even have to cut and score your own you can just uh stamp along with me it's run over zoom and i can send it anywhere in canada if you're not in Canada and you want to participate, um, I can give you the tutorial. You can cut your pieces and stamp along with us. And the date is uh, 55. Nope. The date is January. I think it's 21st. So it's a Saturday morning from 10 to 12. And then in the afternoon, there's an optional sampler class um that you can sign up for it's twenty dollars so it looks like this that's just part of it i'm gonna redesign it a bit i want to uh, change it up that's how i kind of roll i make a project and then i go "Ooh, i can make it better so i'm gonna make it a little bit better okay do you guys want to see how to make this let's see who's on here oh kathy's relaxing night for me do you love the owl and the bunny yeah it's super fun right super fun oh and inez is here hello inez and is it jean kohler good morning from oregon oh gian thank you see i always butcher names i apologize for anybody's names who i'm getting wrong so welcome from oregon you're probably a lot warmer than i am because i'm in edmonton alberta and it's a little chilly today but you know what it's still dog walking weather so otto and i are going to go for a walk and then we're going to have a relaxing evening too. And then I have to stamp all my kits. I've got a lot of kits to cut uh, for my upcoming classes, but I'm super excited about them. And I'm also doing gnomes for all occasions class as well. That's the second Friday night in January. And um, I already have 12 people signed up for that. So if you want to get in, you have to let me know quickly because I'm starting to cut for that. Once I cut, I don't cut again. I can't make the same project twice either. Um, I will, but I don't enjoy it. Okay, so you guys are going to want to either grab your paper trimmer, stamp along with me. If you signed up for the class for my Country Floral Lane Super Mega Stamp Camp, you will be getting these pieces so you don't have to cut anything. So you're kind of getting a sneak peek. I just decided to add this in because I think everybody needs to make this. Okay, so what do we need for this? Let's take a look. Um, doo -doo -doo, where is my templates? 
I will have to post them on my blog. Okay, hold on. Let's just see. I've got them here. I made these beautiful templates to share with you that are now, oh, is this them? Yes, they're here. Okay, these are the pieces that you're going to need. And of course, when you do my stamp counts, you get all the PDF instructions and, and the pieces cut for the classes, plus all that product. So you get a quarter paper of the gingham um, designer series paper. You get a full package of the 12 by 12 paper, some ribbon and embellishments. Okay, so these are what we're going to need. So we have a top piece that is five and a quarter by 10, scored at one and a half on each side. Super easy. We have a box base that is five and three quarters by ten and a half, scored at one and three quarters. And then we have a little insert, which is going to be two and a quarter by eight, scored at half an inch, two and three quarters, four and a quarter, and six and a half. And I'll go through these with you, and I will put these up on my blog. Not sure if I'll do it today. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's start with the base. Now, first of all, do you want to see what's in here? Who would like to see what's in here? Let's slide this off. So it's designed to hold a K cup and a cookie and some chocolates. Or you can put other things in here as well, whatever fits. And you can glue this to the side. I just didn't pack it down yet. But isn't that fun for friends? I don't know. You can maybe put K cup hot chocolate. You know, lots of different uses with this. So this is what we are making. Oh, and Otto's here. Hello, Otto. Um, I don't know. Sometimes you can see his little puppy paws. Can you see puppy paw? No, he's too far back. But yes, he's stamping with me this morning. And Otto is my mini schnauzer puppy who makes an appearance sometimes on my lives and during classes. He's very, very cute. Okay, are you guys ready to stamp? So step one, you want to get out your box base. And again, my box base is five and three quarters by ten and a half. Now we're just going to score that on each side at one and three quarters. So let's go like this. You're probably wondering why I flipped it. I don't know. I did. I just did. Okay, one and three quarters. And then one and three quarters. And of course, at my classes, everything's already cut and scored for you one and three quarters okay and then we've got that done then we need to get a piece of designer series paper now i am using country floor our country uh, floral lane product suite but i didn't want hearts this time see it's got bikes on the other side too this is why i think this could actually take you into spring i think this would be fun as well but I don't want to worry about which direction it's going. So let's just use this side and we need to score it at one and a half. Now you can use this side of your paper trimmer if you want. I think I'll just use this side. So one and a half, one and a half. And guess what the next measurement is? You got it, one and a half. There we go. Okay, and then we need an inside piece when I've already scored it, but I'll do it with you anyway, at half an inch, two and three quarters, four and a quarter, and then six and a half. Okay, and then you get something that looks like this. Now, what we need to do is cut out a hole for our K cup. Now, I found the best way to do that is to use the layering circle dies by Stampin' Up. And we're going to put it on, so this section is half an inch. We got a wider section, not here, but you're going to put it on this section. So, I don't know, the second largest section. And I'm using the die that is about one and seven eighths of an inch die now we need to die cut this and i'm so excited look what i've got a new boho blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine how super cute is this so this is our die cutting machine and it's going to be free well it's not free you can get it with the starter kit but it's practically free i think it is ooh, let me check my celebration 
It's at 174 for a starter kit. Let me check. I can't show you inside, but I can give you the amount. Okay, so the Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. To get a starter kit, it's 175 and you get $225 in product. And the exclusive, oh my gosh, and you get this new machine. Okay, I'm blown away. I thought this was included in the uh, 225. It's not. You get the exclusive Boho Blue Mini machine plus $225 in product for only $175. Or you can get the white machine. But why would you? Like, look how cute this one is. Okay, and then the other one is if you don't need a mini machine, you can just uh, join Stampin' Up! for $135 and get $225 in product. Anything you want. So I recommend the Country Floral Lane products. And uh, and then you can have the class for free as well. So how great is that? Now, when you get your mini machine, you get all these wonderful plates. I didn't want to open it yet because I already have a white one. So I just got my old plates out. What the plates look like is this. So you get a number four plate, which is used for... Uh, hinge first. I think it is used for 3D embossing folders. See, it's right here. They tell you what it's used for. This one here is used for standard embossing folders. And then you have a base and then you have two plates. Now, can you see how chopped up these are? This is what happens when you start cutting on them. They do get a little marked up. But you know what? That's okay. The other thing I love about this is it fits in a purse. It's purse size. So, you know, if you go to crops or you're going to classes, you can just bring your own mini machine with you, throw it in your purse. You're good to go. I think Stampin' Up! needs a mini machine purse that they need to offer as well because that'd be super cute. Now, I'm just going to lay this down. And there's two ways that you can hold it down. You can get a post-it note. Or sometimes what I like to do is just get some washi tape. You can get washi tape pretty much anywhere. Um, I always have old washi tape laying around. Or I use post-it notes a lot too. And I'm just going to do this. Or we sell masking paper now. You can put a strip of masking paper as well on it. And let's roll this through. Cute little machine, right? Let's see if it works. Oh, does it work? You should always try your Stampin' Up! products because they have a really good return policy or an exchange policy if something doesn't work. But it's got to be within, I can't remember if it's 30 days or 90 days. Who knows? Who knows? Put it in the chat. Okay, so that is done. Now my washi tape pulled off a little bit of the paper. So sometimes you have to, before you use it, make it a little less sticky. And I wasn't very careful with this. Okay, so there is that. Now, I don't want to lose my die. Do you guys ever do this where you go to a dollar store, get an old picture frame, put a piece of magnet in it, and then I just store this on my desk, and then I don't lose it? Okay, so what we're going to do is let's do our bottom. Let's do our box bottom. Okay, so I'm just cutting up to the first score line on each side on the long side okay and then we'll do this one then we'll flip it and then we're going to just make cut in four places basically now if you want your box to be nice and to fold together nice you can actually miter the corners i didn't on my other one it depends how much time you have if you're doing this you know before you're going to your party you may not have time to miter the corners but I actually feel like I need to keep a few of these boxes cut, scored, and ready to go so that when I do go somewhere and I need a quick little gift, I can uh, just throw this together really quickly. It'll be cut and scored and ready to go. And if you want, you can even use designer series paper for the bottom of the box. I find cardstock, though, gives it a little more stability. And then, of course, you're going to get your bone folder. So let me move this out of the way. We'll go like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. Okay, now anybody guess where you put your adhesive? 
so easy. Let's just see if anybody else is here today. Sandra's here. Hello, Sandra. Alexina's here. Hello. I hope you guys are having a great day. I wasn't going to do a video today, but then I thought, you know what? The catalog is retiring. I would just jump on with you guys. I had a little bit of time before I cut all my designer series paper, my uh, class stuff. And I really wanted to share. Okay, so now what you're going to do is pull up the sides like so. Then you're going to pull up this side like so. And then you're just doing the same thing over here. See, isn't that easy? And then for the K cup part, you have a half inch section. Now you have two options. You can either use your Stampin' Seal. Now you can use liquid glue as well. I find for my boxes, this really works well for me. You can also use um, your tear and tape adhesive as well. So let's just get that going. And then what I like to do is just fold over this tab. Oh, we've got to go over all the score lines. And then you just fold this part over. And see, it just lines up. And just go over the score lines a little bit. Right? And then that is just going to fit inside your box. Now, if you want, you can add some adhesive. And we can add some adhesive just to stick it down. It's pretty tight fit. And let's just go like this. We'll just feed it in. It's tight because you've got these inside tabs. But I'm not going to worry about that. You can add adhesive if you want on the bottom. Let's just take our K-cup. We'll just transfer the little goodies in here. Some arrow bars and some snacks. And then we're going to do the same thing with the box lid now. We've already cut and scored it. Let's just cut these in four places. Again, we'll just miter the corner. I always cut first, then miter. I don't know why. Cut first, miter the corners, which basically means take off a smidge. Right? Take off a smidge, and away we go. And then I'll show you how I'll decorate this. This is going to be decorated this time with the Country Bouquet Stamp Set and the super cute punch. I love this uh, suite as well because I think it's a really good price point, but I think we can use it for different occasions. So I actually want to make a card all in gold, like an anniversary card. I think that would be really pretty as well. Oh, I'm so tempted to use the bikes. I don't think I have enough bike though showing. I would have to cut the paper different. And uh, I didn't feel like over really thinking that much today. Okay, there we go. Now see how this is slipping? Oh, there it comes. I don't use this too much. I'm almost uh, use exclusively my liquid glue, but it is handy. Okay, now this is going to be a very tight fit. So I'm just kind of tacking it down loosely in case it needs to move a little bit. Sometimes instead of pulling it tight, if you just Put it uh, right about here it just makes it a little bit bigger okay and then we can just put our lid on see that's not overly valentinesy because this is just going to be for a friend see isn't that awesome i just love this project makes me happy now we need a super cute tag or something for this one here i used um this whole space paper that's retiring so it's the every celebrate every day designer series paper now i have some of this extra so if anybody wants to order retired stuff and places a 60 dollar order i'll send you a sampling of these papers because i think it's uh, really fun and of course it's kind of new year's right so you need the new year's fireworks paper and then with this one too i used a brand new product suite not product suite i used a brand new stamp set and brand new dies called something fancy so they're super cute tag dies. And then I use the ribbon off the clearance rack. Now this ribbon is called uh, Flowers for Every Season. The number is 153620. It's on sale for $5.40. And I like it because it has a plain white. 
and it has this kind of nice twine and then it's also got a mint macaroon gingham pattern which i think will coordinate with the country floral lane suite as well and normally it's, it was like nine or ten dollars and now it's on for five dollars and forty cents i thought that was pretty good and that's why i'm using it here because today it's still available okay let me move this over here and then i'll show you how i'm going to make this tag but this time I'm not using, this is what I use, these two pieces to make my first box. Oh, look, I have a little template done up. Okay, it's on ugly paper. So I had a friend help me with some die cutting. I need 22 of each pieces because I was cutting for our crafting crew team get together um, on Friday night next oh this friday oh my gosh it's this friday and i needed a bunch of these pieces done up for the card kits that i sent out i charge five dollars plus two dollars for for shipping for our card kits so that was sort of the label pieces that we use for the projects i'd show you my samples but i don't think my samples are done up yet yet i just stamp with everybody else you know at the same time okay now i could do a little do this. I wonder what this would look like. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where's my little, uh, my baby blue? We'll just call this one the baby blue. My baby blue, my baby blue. Now, if you're already a demo and you're thinking, oh, I wish I had a baby blue, you can actually buy this until I think it's January 4th. Don't wait, though. Buy it now if you're really thinking about it. Because when you're a demo, Stampin' Up! doesn't want us to be sad when they have, like, uh, celebration starter kit promotions. Because we should be able to just buy the machine. So it's 80... I think it's $86. So that's the value of this machine. And, of course, you know, sometimes when you have sales, you have product credits or something that you can do... I think this could be a 50% off item. I'm not sure because when you host a party and you have $550 party sales, you can get an item in Stamping Rewards that's 50% off. So, of course, if you're a demo and you, and you are just buying tons of stuff, you could get this 50% off, I believe. If it's wrong, I'll just apologize. Ooh, look how cute this little tag is. Oh, yeah. How cute is that? Okay, so what we're going to do now, I've got my little tag cut for my box. I think we need to put a little heart on here. So there's two ways I could do this. I could cut from the designer series paper and just punch it out. But I wanted to show you guys how pretty this is and these cool stamps. This is why I think it's such a great stamp set. So we have these great hearts. They're a whimsical heart. And they have dimension on them. They are distressed and they're distressed on purpose. And let's just cut a little bit of sweet. We're going to stamp in sweet sorbet. Oh, yeah. I wanted to stamp. I love that we are friends. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, let's do this first of all. Okay, can you see how the stamp is all in one? It's all joined. And the reason for that is watch this. Okay, prepared to be wowed. Look, you just put it in and both the pieces perfectly line up so that you can just punch it. Oh, I should have stamped my green at the same time. Oh, well, that's okay. I can do that in a second. So I have my little hearts. I now need my little green leaves. See, it's all one piece again. And you can see I'm mainly using a D block. We do sell a whole bunch of different blocks. But uh, for my purposes today, I think a D block is just great. I'm just going to stamp this here. I am wasting a little bit of paper. I'm going to put it up here because then I can I'm put it up here. Because then I can stamp a heart later. Ooh, very tempted to stamp my heart now. But that's okay. We're just going to go like this. We'll punch this out. So now I've got my heart and my little pieces. Or like I say, just buy the paper, the punch, and the stamp set, and you're good to go. Okay, and then I also wanted to stamp on here. I love that we are friends because most of the people I give gifts to are friends. 
I do a little bit to family, but I feel like my family sees my stamping stuff all the time. So um, it's mainly friends that I give stuff to. Does that sound terrible? Okay, let's put, I love that we are friends. Just going to stamp it in the middle. And then I'm just going to put this little heart. Like so. Yeah, we'll put the little heart. Or maybe we'll just do a little baby heart. I didn't even know if I'll use this big one. Okay, hold on. This fits better. So let's go like this. Isn't this cute though? Wouldn't you just love to give a whole bunch of your coworkers these little gifts? And they don't take that long if you have it pre-planned. You got glue problems. What I would do is just cut, score, 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 punch, 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 away you go. Okay, I'm going to put this here. And then I think we need a little um, adhesive back rhinestone right there. Okay, let's put our ribbon around our box. Now you can either use this white ribbon or you can use the red ribbon that comes in the suite. Maybe today I'll use the red ribbon because once this stuff is gone, I'm not sure if the clearance rack will be gone on the fifth. Sometimes Stampin' Up! takes it down. Sometimes they leave it up. I'm not really sure what's happening there. Okay, so let's just tie this around. I'm just going to tie it like this. And then I think we need, I'd usually use linen thread at this point, but because I do have this blue twine, we'll just use this blue twine so you can see what it looks like. It's super cute. Like who wouldn't love to get this from you? You know, and it's not expensive. The K-cups don't cost a lot and the little chocolate bars don't cost a lot either. You could probably put um, the lint chocolate balls would fit really nice in here. Okay, and then if you wanted to, you could even put this on as well. I don't think I need it. I think that's just extra. I think I just like the little dangly, little dangly tag instead. So I hope I've given you guys some ideas and showed you some other things you can do with the country um country floral lane stamp set here's another card you can make i've got so many samples done with this suite i just love it like that's a nice valentine's card right it could even be an anniversary card if you said happy anniversary super super cute okay did anybody have any questions or are we good to go thanks alexina do you love the blue machine kathy did you get a blue machine and Sandra, you like the sampler. Okay, I wasn't sure if people like the sampler or not. So I've got a few people signed up for the class. So I'm going to ask them if they like the sampler or they want a new version of the sampler. So let me know what you think. And then let's see who else is on here still. We have oh, 46. Gian says 46 degrees, partly sunny. Not too bad. No, that's not too bad. And Inez, you love the box? Yes, you should make the box because I know you probably have lots of product as well. Okay, so the sampler is great. You like it, Kathy? Okay, because I had an idea for another one. Um, we just might have to make two. I don't know, right? We'll just see. Okay, let's see. So I want to thank you guys for watching me today. I hope I've given you some fun ideas to make with this little box and that you'll give some treats to some friends. And I want to wish you a happy new year. I hope everyone gets to take tomorrow off to rest. I may or may not come on with another Facebook Live. We'll see. It usually takes me about two hours to prep for a Facebook Live um, unless I just jump on really quick and make something, which I guess I could do, right? Anyway, um, Happy New Year. Have fun tonight. Um, eat lots of food, lots of snacks, and have an amazing time. And sign up for my catalog kickoff party. I'd love to have you join me. It's going to be on Wednesday, 7 to 9, Mountain Standard Time, on Zoom. It's going to be super fun. And if you don't like specialty classes, I do offer a monthly class where I mail the kits in the mail to you for $25. So that's a pretty, pretty good deal for a class. We make four cards 
and it varies every single month what we make and then some people are in clubs so i have that one as well so kim's on here too happy new year kim i hope you guys have an amazing day bye